weeks ago was the first time I had to edit a video with more than 100 different clips being included and I quickly realized that my functional yet slow 2018 MacBook Pro and I needed to part ways. I can't do this anymore. I then started my search for a new laptop that not only is small in size but also has the necessary GPU power to work seamlessly with video editing. And a few days ago I found it. The new 14 inch MacBook Pro which was introduced in January 2023. I'm going to pick it up at the Apple Store in Williamsburg, Brooklyn today and I'm gonna take you with me. I picked it up. I'm so excited. But first, much better. Let's get to the unboxing. Okay guys, I had a 2018 MacBook Pro for the longest time and I'm super excited to finally upgrade to a better version. Oh, this feels, this looks so nice. I really needed a stronger processor, especially for video editing, so I'm really excited to finally have this here. All right, let's start. Oh, this is such a satisfying feeling. Okay. I got the standard configuration because I figured that's all I need. I really love the packaging, but now let's get going and open the box and see what's in there. I'm gonna lift the laptop now. Oh my god, it's brand new. Oh, this is new. Okay, interesting. I feel like this is heavier than the one I had, but the size looks very comparable, which is awesome. I had the 13 inch MacBook before, and I was worried that this is much bigger than what I was used to, and it's not. So, lovely. The cable, I think it's MagSafe again. I've had the USB C cables for a long time, the charging ones. This version, they actually colored the cables the same way the laptop is. I'll show you in a second. So, this cable. It's actually the same color as this laptop. Let's appreciate the snap. I also love that this cable actually has a texture because the other ones, they keep tangling. So I think this is a much better quality than we had before. Let's see what else is in here. Okay, we have the design by Apple in California, lovely. And the charger, the charging block. I just got the standard one because this laptop actually has a charging power of, I think, 18 hours, which is crazy. And I think traveling with this is totally fine. I don't think anything has changed here. I can highly recommend, um, when you tra if you're traveling a lot, switch those guys out because this you can buy for European format, etc. You just snap it on and it's super easy to travel with. So now for the laptop, we obviously have our um warranty oh the stickers and they're dark i'm not gonna use them because i don't put stickers anywhere but i'm sure some people collect them okay oh yeah this one doesn't have the touch bar the old one still has the touch bar and i honestly don't need the touch bar so i don't care all right let's open it okay Oh, this keyboard is different. So let's remove this. Ah, and it has the webcam in here. That's different than my old laptop as well. In general, I think the size is very comparable. Oh, this feels so good, actually. I'm also very happy about Apple bringing back different ports, like an HDMI port or even a card reader slot. So I've been living the dongle life in forever, and I'm gonna edit this video with it. So let's see what happens. Welcome to the next day. I have been editing this video for the past 10 minutes and I must say I'm truly impressed. I've been using Final Cut Pro and I've been layering four different types of videos, all of them 4K, over each other and the fan has not even turned on. This is a game changer. On my old laptop, sure it was a very outdated version, it was like a 2018 Core i5 processor. When I had one video on Final Cut Pro, it would already turn on the fan and it would already stutter so I would have to wait. I'm someone who truly values efficiency, not only in life, but also when I work with software. I cannot even imagine what it does for software developers that are working in gaming and video processing on graphic design, etc. I got the standard configuration, which is 16 gigs of RAM, 512 gigs of SSD. The standard configuration also has a 16 core CPU, which is 
insane. So if you're someone who is using Photoshop, Lightroom, this chip will probably change your life. And this is just the M2 Pro. I don't even know what the M2 Max will do. Overall, very happy with my purchase. In the next few days, I'm also going to show you how I set up my laptop. This will include basic computer settings as well as productivity tools that I use to improve my work efficiency. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to this channel and see you next time.